we have to memorize. This is calcium formate. Right on this. Is this the same as chloral hydrate or is there Chloral hydrate. Chloral hydrate is we have when we have dot H. Then otherwise it's chloral. Right. So this is the preparation method of chloroform from ethanol. Okay. Now the another method you see from acetone, what happens? From acetone. First reaction is same for both the reactions. The first one is same. The second one is we have acetone which is CH2CO, sorry, CH3CO, CH3 plus three modes of CL, this CL2 radio here. Right. And again you get here what? CL3.
two moles of lysine hydrogen gives you CH2CH diatomic. Okay. When you take this Cl2 in sunlight, what is the product you get? Oh, it's the CCL. CCL. Okay. 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 Product is CCL. Plus HCl. One more important reaction it is when it reacts with HFO2, nitrous acid. Okay? It forms CCL3. This is used in tear gas. That's why this last one is important. CCL3 and it will be used in here. Yeah. Okay. What reaction is easy and you can understand it easily. The last one here. If we use two moles of protoform with silver, this forms acidity plus 6 moles of this is the finish of you finish right down arrive arrive the last part that we have arrive arrive Now when you compare, now when you compare the reactivity of aryl halide and alkyl halide, okay, which one is more reactive? Aryl halide. Aryl halide is more reactive, why? Because the carbocation will be stabilized by resonance. No, aryl halide is less reactive. Except one reaction will be more reactive. Strong. Yeah. Okay, see. See, analyze what happens. Because of this lone pair present on the body, you can draw the resonating structure. The plus and nature of this. Right? So, hence, here what happens the carbon halogen bond in halide right? right, will have. Partial double bond characteristics. Partial double bond characteristics. And that's why the carbon halogen bond in aryl halide is more strong than that of alkyl halide. Correct? This bond is more stronger than this, and hence this is difficult to break, and the reactivity of aryl halide is lesser than. That of alkyl. Correct? Yes or no? If you suppose somehow if you break this bond also, then what do you get? This is what the product we have, right? Now this positive charge is not involved in resonance. Not involved in resonance. Correct. And this is not resonance stabilized. It is there in the order which is a different plane. Right? This is not resonance stabilized as a one factor. Other factor is plus n, this bond is stronger. That is why this reaction is not possible at all and hence the carbon halogen bond in aryl halide is stronger than that of alkyl. Correct? So only if the positive charge were in also or carbon or, or carbon position there they would be. Any way, any position is not stabilized. If you place this positive charge here, this is the same volume. Yeah. yeah, okay, so if there is something to it, if there is another substance. I am coming to that. Right? So right on first thing, the reactivity of aryl halide, the reactivity of aryl halide is less than the reactivity of aryl halide is less than to that of 
alkyl halide since the aryl halide aryl halide has tendency tendency to show plus m effect has tendency to show plus m effect and hence the carbon halogen bond hence the carbon halogen bond has partial double bond characteristics which makes the bond this carbon halogen bond stronger than which makes the bond stronger than that of alkyl halide another one takes the red down the fifth this is the acid here right now and then you write on the phenyl cation the phenyl cation is not stabilized by resonance the phenyl cation is not stabilized by resonance Hence, the dissociation of carbon halogen bond is difficult. The dissociation of carbon halogen bond is difficult. Next time, one note we write down. When a powerful electron with drawing group. When a powerful electron with drawing group, and that is NO2, Cn, COH, CHO, when a powerful electron with drawing group present at ortho or para position, present at ortho or para position, with respect to the halogen atom. Then the replacement of halogen atom. Then the replacement of halogen atom by any nucleophile like OH minus. And the replacement of halogen atom by any nucleophile like OH minus, OH minus or NH2 minus is possible. right is possible next point greater the number of electron with drawing group present is possible greater the number of electron with drawing group present at ortho or para position electron with drawing group present at ortho or para position more will be its reactivity more will be its reactivity next line presence of ewg electron with drawing group presence of ewg electron with drawing group at meta position at meta position has no has no effect okay so this is a few properties of uh, you know aryl halide we have if you have to memorize usually we cannot break carbon halogen bond but in presence of electron with drawing group that to add ortho and para position is possible more number of electron with drawing group more will be the reactivity okay now there are few preparation method of aryl halide we have And it is not much in the actual sphere, and then you um, chemical properties. That is it. All these reactions actually you have to analyze. First method is by direct halogenation. Right now, the first method of preparation is by direct halogenation. By direct halogenation. Right now, this is useful. for chlorination and bromination of benzene ring chlorination and bromination of benzene ring right so reaction if you see benzene ring we have and when it is allowed to react with 
IoT. Sorry, chlorination, uh, chlorination from CLT. Direct iodination is not possible. Okay, so you will see that. Now, when you use the CLT, we can use either reagents like, uh, you know, uh, catalysts like anhydrous plus ALCL3, or we can use FeCl3 for ion also as catalysts. Anhydrous ALCL3 or anhydrous FeCl3, all these reagents we can use. And the product here will be what? We will get protobenzene plus HC. Okay? This is also true when you allow this to react with bromine, we are doing. Okay? Direct chlorination and bromination is possible. What is the reagent here? Catalyst Al Br2 or anhydrous Epi Br2. The product here will be plus HP. Okay. But like this, you cannot use I2 over here. Why I'll tell you? First, you copy down this and write down one note here. I plus HI 
and the other product you can write NO2H2, which is here. Here, now, here if we add into that reversible reaction, if we add pyridine to react with XY. See, first of all, uh, when you ask me if you add this, then maybe theoretically by looking at the reaction it's possible. Right, you can say. But actually what happens, what condition you are providing in the lab, that we cannot predict like this. It's not theory. It's not like, okay, we can see this H and we get this. This is actually done in the lab, that's why it is given in the book. Okay, so like this you cannot predict. If you add this, then what happens? Maybe whatever you are saying is possible, that may also come. But you do not know exactly what is the reaction condition you should use for to get those products. And in a given set of reactions, how the reaction will behave. So that is why organic we cannot generalize. It depends on the solvent that we are using. It depends even on the temperature that we are using for that reaction. Okay. So that is why it is not, you know, it is not a good approach to so what happens if we add this. For that you have to do that particular experiment and then you have to observe what product. Okay. So uh, this is the method of preparation of iodo-derivative of benzene, right? Another method is what we can also prepare this by disonium salt. Okay. So next method you write down. What is by direct halogenation where we cannot form this iodo-derivative. Other one is by disonium salt. Reaction of disonium salt again we will see amines chapter. Write down. Disonium salt. Is what from dilonium salt you write down, and this is the dilonium salt we have. We have N2 here, N2 plus, and generally we take Cl minus, N double bond and Cl. This is dilonium, benzene dilonium salt. Okay. Okay. If you have to form the chloride derivative. We can use CuCl with HCl or we can also use Cu2Cl2 directly. All these are direct reactions. We will get this reaction directly in the exam. So you have to memorize this. Reaction of titanium salt, in this reaction we always get N2 gas evolved Always. So the one of the product here will be chlorobenzene. plus N2 gas evolves and then some HCl. Reaction of for protobenzene and bromobenzene is like the same. Like we are using CuCl, so for bromobenzene we can use CuBr with HBr or we can also use Cu2Br2. Correct? The product here will be again bromobenzene. Right. For iodo derivative, we use Ti, potassium iodide, and that too at, at an elevated temperature, so we write warm Ti. A little bit higher temperature we require for this. And for fluorobenzene, we use NaBF. Like carbon tetrachloride, you get what? R 